The daily bread has a special meaning in this Bucha bakery. No machines here. Yaroslav kneads the dough by hand. Outside, Andri chops firewood for the oven. At a time when waves of Russian strikes have crippled Ukraine's power grid, the old ways are proving to be handy. Yuri used to pass his days glued to a screen at his IT job. War has brought him back to what matters most. What's happened right now in Ukraine, it's affecting all the world. And people becoming more conscious and more grateful for, for everything they have right now in their lives. Earlier this year, Bucha, outside Kyiv, suffered through a brutal Russian occupation and was the scene of what investigators say were war crimes. Vyacheslav, a regular customer, appreciates the bread and the spirit of those who make it. They're nice guys, uh, nice small business. I remember right after liberation of uh, Bucha, they started uh, baking bread and even providing this bread for free to those uh, in need. They also provide bread and traditional pastries for those far from home and in harm's way. Some of these loaves are destined for soldiers, a little something extra that will make their New Year's Eve that much more special. Simple reminders of the holiday season hang over their work. The memories of recent nightmares are still fresh, and the specter of more Russian attacks loom large. Celebrations will be muted. In other parts of the world, people can count on comfort and waiting for nice fireworks, Yaroslav tells me. We're worried about fireworks from our neighbors. Irina's wish for the new year is simple. We hope it will be better, she says. We hope the war will end. One cannot live on bread alone. Hope is also needed. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Bucha, Ukraine.